Aaron Judge has been by far the best hitter in baseball this season. 62 home runs was the cherry on top, but he also led in pretty much every single offensive category. It's been a pleasure for baseball to witness what he's done this year, as it's honestly good for the game to have someone of his caliber put on such a high status for the whole world to see. So after all of his success, all of the accolades, home runs, and carrying his team to the postseason, imagine Yankees fans booing him. Serious? Yes, I'm serious, because it actually happened. Yankees fans have become known for booing pretty much every single player on their team. Like, seriously. Nobody is safe on the Yankees roster no matter how good you are. In fact, the more money you're paid, the more prone you're going to be to get booed because the fans naturally expect more from the more highly paid players. Garrett Cole, despite having a solid season, has gotten booed on multiple occasions. Giancarlo Stanton is nothing short of familiar with fans raining down boos on him before literally cheering him on after he hits a home run the next day. The list goes on and on. Here's how I feel about booing your own team or your own team's players. To start, Big markets versus little markets have a lot to do with it. The Seattle Mariners just got done playing an 18 inning game in which they scored zero runs. Zero. Their offense did absolutely nothing in two games worth of innings against the Astros, and unfortunately for them, it was an elimination game. So the Mariners season came to a close in front of their fans after doing nothing hitting wise. You want to know what those fans did in response? They never once booed any of their team's hitters who couldn't get anything going, and after the game ended, again, a game in which they lost, they literally chanted, let's go Mariners. But context of course matters. The Mariners are a much smaller market of a franchise and are also a team that hasn't made it to the postseason since 2001 before 2022. So the fans are happy to get any winning, period. Of course they'd rather see their team win the World Series, but they're more thankful for whatever they end up getting. As far as a team like the Yankees, their fans expect nothing less than a championship every single season. No excuses. If that team doesn't win the last game of the year, it was all for nothing. That's the mentality, and it makes sense considering the Yankees are the most successful franchise in sports history and have a ton of money to go along with that. So obviously, if they get dusted in the first round, the fans won't act too kindly like the smaller market Seattle Mariners fans did. With that said, booing your own players is a little different. The way I see it, players should only get booed if A, they actually suck and have sucked for a while, or B, disrespect the fans in some type of way on or off the field. Yankees fans have short term memories, and that's okay, but I don't think that's okay with guys like Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is the biggest reason the Yankees are even in the playoffs this year. Without him, you can make a serious argument that they miss out on October, as Judge carried the entire offense all season long. He's never once disrespected the fans in any way, and has been the best hitter not just on the team, forget that, but in all of baseball. Well, some fans just don't seem to care. Judge didn't start out the postseason very strong against Cleveland in the ALDS, going 0 for his first 7 with 7 strikeouts against the Guardians in games 1 and 2. Now, yeah, that's pretty bad, but Aaron Judge is human after all. He's going to have his bad days. I mean, this is stating the obvious. So you would think in a time like that when Judge is struggling, the fans would be cheering him on to get back on track. Well, nope, here's what happened. And Judge is hearing boos. Well, of course he should be hearing them. He hasn't homered in over a week. That's unbelievable. It's hard for me to fathom this. It's also weird to see why any fans would do this when Judge becomes a free agent after the postseason. Money talks, of course, but booing is most certainly not one of the reasons that will persuade Judge to stay in the Bronx. After Game 2, Judge was asked about getting booed by his own fans, going on to say, It happens. Like I said, it's, it's happened many a times through my career here. and. You know, there's nothing I can do. You know, I got to play better. That's what it comes down to. Didn't do the job tonight. You know, especially as a leadoff hitter, man, I got to get on base. I got to make something happen on the base path. And you know, I didn't do that tonight. Aaron Judge is a classy guy, so I expected nothing other than a classy response to his own fans booing. But the reality is that booing your best player is never smart, especially when that best player is the number one reason why you're in the playoffs to begin with. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.